Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week I am building out of Star Trek Tactics 2 and Simeon is building out of Fellowship of the Ring. Go ahead and tell me about your team, Simeon. Yeah, so the Fellowship couldn't be a Fellowship without Frodo Baggins. Of course, you know, he carries Samwise Gamgee half the way. He's, and Samwise is just um, such a terrible character, and Frodo has to, like, help him out the whole time, and uh, eventually I think, I mean, uh, pretty much no, brings think, the ring to Mount uh, Doom by himself. I think you've got the characters mixed there, Simeon. Uh, Sam carries Frodo. Frodo has to bear uh, the psychological weight of the ring, and then Sam, who can't carry that burden, then carries Frodo, I believe, to huh. to plagiarize there a little bit. Huh. Well, anyhow, uh, Frodo here, the worst hobbit, uh, he's got some prob. He's got a uh, mithril shirt. Wonder where he got that idea. When Frodo Baggins is hit by an attack, roll a d6 on a result of 4 through 6. He can use invulnerability until the end of the turn. So not quite mithril, but it's good enough. Uh, he's got stealth top dial. He is indom for what that isn't worth anymore. And he's 55 points he has an epic action hide over here. Uh, basically, when you give him an epic action at the beginning, until the beginning of your next turn, uh, you can pick two friendly characters per hundred point of the game's total build. So, for a four hundred point game, you could pick eight friendly characters, um, and if they occupy the same area of hindering terrain, I mean, I'm assuming they mean like the same continuous like hindering terrain. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, or if they are adjacent to him, they can use stealth. So that's actually, I mean, for fifty-five points, that's kind of good. But we've wow. seen we've seen characters that can give I would stealth say. too. Uh, Necron, scroll, scroll down a little bit, Simeon. Oh, oh, scroll down a little bit, Simeon. Uh, are you blind? This set is awesome. For fifty-five points, this Frodo is the tits. <laughs> wow! Thank you, Couch Munchies. Thank you, really, Couch Munchies. Really appreciate that. Oh, Yandu. Wow, who farted? What a disappointing set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. man. HC Realms is just so brutal sometimes. <laughs> uh. This is great. All right, go ahead. Uh, all right, next up for Team Fellowship is Asilder. Asilder, I don't know how to say that, but uh, he looks cool. Uh, he will be avenged. Asildur can use charge. When a friendly character of six... A friendly character six or fewer squares from Isildur is KO'd an opposing character's attack by an opposing character's attack. After resolutions, uh, you may place Isildur in a square that friendly character occupied. We've seen this before. Not great as a speed power. Usually you see it mm -hmm. as like a trait that characters have. But uh, that's his speed power. So charge plus uh, placed in a KO'd friendly's square as long as he's within six or fewer from that. Next up is Boromir. Speaking of KO'd friendlies. <laughs> wow, too soon. Uh, so he's got an epic action held by the horn. And aren't we all? Uh, during the beginning of your turn, give Boromir an epic action. Place up to one action. Place up to one action token per 200 points of the game's build total on any opposing characters within 10 squares and line of fire. Wow. That's that's definitely a, a power he can use. Interesting. He also has the uh, Shield Master trait. Boromir can use combat reflexes and toughness. He may make a close combat attack as a free action, targeting an opposing character who missed him with a close combat attack since your last turn. So, yeah. Good old Boromir. Sean Bean Boromir. Uh, next up is a guy who definitely had a name in the movie, Lurtz. Remember when the Orakai said, Hey, Lurtz, where are we going? And he said, After the Hobbits, of course. That was a line that he spoke. Lurtz is his name. Um, so, yeah, he's got Charge, Exploit, Top Dial, and then he goes into a Blades combo with his special speed, Spare Only the Halflings. Lurtz can use Charge and Flurry. When he uses Flurry... He can't target the same character with both attacks. 
And Tomas5 says, what a great fig. Six clicks of charge for only 70 points. Mm. Monster keyword, <laughs> welcome to Doug's army. The most underrated comment on HC Realms. That's that... like an HC Realms like <laughs> drinking game. Yeah. Just take a shot every time someone says, welcome to Doug's army on the HC Realms comment section. Oh, Holy man. crap. So original. What a guy. Yeah, it's, just, it's the most original comment on this whole website. Uh, and then last but not least is Saruman. The uh, Saruman, the, uh, mm. uh, I don't know, the Tainted, is that what they called him? Uh, his epic action is called, If I Go, He Dies. Give Saruman an epic action. Choose up to one opposing character per 200 points of the game's build total that's marked with an action token and roll a d6 that can't be re-rolled. If the result of the roll is 4 through 6, deal each of the chosen characters one penetrating damage. Wow. B -b -b busted um that's just a crazy power yeah one penetrating damage for an epic it is action. good it's, that's pretty uh, wild <laughs> he's got a speed power the first half of his dial called the power of isengard uh saruman can use mind control as if he held as if he had a range value of 10 when he does he ignores elevated and blocking terrain for line of fire purposes and then he has a special defense power for the majority of his dial except his last two clicks called a palantir. Uh, Saruman can use outwit and probability control. What a good defense. Outwit and prob. Both both solid defense powers. Amazing um, defense power. Yeah. And Just then, uh, bricks of text here. I do want to, to read the MF Batman's comment. What? <laughs> Free penetrating damage and mind control that ignores terrain at 10 squares with prob to back up that MC roll. Watch out. You're never safe with this guy around. Your own people may turn on you when you least expect it. Grin. <laughs> Solid. Jeez. Yikes. Solid. Yeah. Yikes. All right. Like always, Lord of the Rings is bringing some heat. Uh, so it's up for me to bring some firepower. It's so strange how these ships seem so underpowered, but let's just sort of get, and get into it. Uh, first up, Dicker, Dikiri, something. Uh, Federation. We talked about team ability before. It's not good. It's pretty bad. Uh, eight range flight has a special uh, for, because it just doesn't work. There, there's, yeah. you, you aren't a ship, have ships. Simeon. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So uh, special speed power, first three clicks, last two clicks. Warp drone drop maneuver, excuse me. Dicker can use hypersonic speed. When it does, after actions resolve, if it ends its movement in a different square from what it occupied for the attack, it may make a close combat attack as a free action against a target it has not previously attacked this turn, which is really good. Yeah. Really, really good hypersonic, hypersonic speed. Hypersonic so, flurry, yeah, basically. Really, yeah. And it's a neat-looking ship. Next up, the IRW Valdor. Uh, a little bit more plain. I don't know if we've seen the Romulan team ability. At the beginning of the game, for all friendly ships that can use this team ability, choose a keyword an opposing ship has. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Damage dealt by friendly characters in this team ability uh, is, can be reduced below one. Well, uh, how many ships you got on your team there, Simeon? That's uh, what I thought. <laughs> uh, none. Yeah, none. None. Uh, shoot, none. Okay, of course. I mean, I've uh, shipped special Frodo damage and power. Fan fiction, but that doesn't count. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> uh, special damage power. We're her to help. Awesome. But you'll owe me a Romulan ale. IRW Valdor can use enhancement and support. You can also use probability control, but only to reroll the attack roll when using support. Although support is not technically an attack roll anymore. Um, I'm just going to theme rule it that, yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? You can reroll it. What's because, sad is uh, yeah. the Star Trek original series Romulan team ability is infinitely better than that one where it's just stealth. It's just the Batman team ability. Yep. Just better. Uh, although running shot energy explosion with uh, range combat expert is actually much better than it used to be, which is nice. So, oh, yeah. New yeah. rules, obviously. Still only Article 7, uh, but yeah. And then Starship Enterprise. The USS Enterprise is kind of my my beefy guy here. Uh, even though it only has toughness, it does have a special damage power for its first three clicks, which is outwit and probability control. Some damage powers in the damage slot. Sure would be weird if those were like in the defense slot or something. I don't know. Uh, and then it has a trait called Inspiration. 
When a friendly ship begins its turn adjacent to the USS Enterprise, it can use willpower until the end of the turn. If that ship possesses the same team ability or keyword as the USS Enterprise, also modify its speed value plus two and its attack value plus one until the end of the next turn. Really, really good there um, is actually a super, super thing. So uh, the RIW of Valdor does not share scientist or soldier or Federation team ability with them, but the Dicker does share the Federation team ability. So I will be able to use that trait to its fullest on the Dicker. They will both get willpower, uh, but since it shares, it will also get plus two speed and attack plus one, which is cool. So I really dig that. And that is, those are our teams. Uh, once again, ooh, I, I saw that open Witcher tab and it bothered me extremely, Simeon. Uh, extremely. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the, only, you're the only one that saw that tab. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. Stop. Stop. Let's go play the game, bro. All right. Uh, this map does have special terrain. Uh, we're not going to talk about it because only ships can use it, and I'm not going to use it. So, yeah, uh, as always, our tokens are by Brad Broyles. Uh, you can go to his Bradcast Discord ser server. Uh, we pop a link, but we don't, we can't get a permanent link to it. So you'll just sort of have to ask Brad Broyles or ask us, and we'll be able to get you a link somehow. If you want some of these beautiful tokens for your own Roll20 games, he has made pretty sure literally every single hero clicks uh set ever yeah I'm into positive at this tokens. Point. he's yeah at least fully um, reversed like all the way back words i don't know if he's all the way caught up with like the newest <laughs> stuff but i imagine so because he's pretty quick about it so yeah he is he's uh, he's quick on the trigger uh so yeah anyways i won map so i will be going first luckily and yeah, let's go ahead and get this game started, guys. As always, we're using the new rules and all that jazz. And I almost clicked on Simeon's live stream before realizing I need to move to my own game <laughs> to play this game. <laughs> all right, sweet. So uh, all these ships are going to have willpower since they start next to the USS Enterprise, which is cool. And then the whatever uh, Dicker, I believe, not the Valdor. Let me get that straight in my mind. Yes, the Dicker will get plus two speed. So it'll be an 11 instead of a nine, which is really cool. We'll go ahead and move the Valdor to there, the USS Enterprise to here, the Dicker to here. Ships on stuff, and it's your go, Simeon. Mm, interesting. Oh. I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> uh, let's see. So Saruman has this speed power where he can use mind control as a forgetting. Of 10. And when he does, he ignores elevated and blocking mm. terrain for line of fire purposes. Mm. Um, mm. Sadly, I can't use outward mm. prob. Well, I mean, I can prob myself, but I can't prob that range. Um, let's move Mr. Frodo Baggins uh I think he's Baggins Took, hyphenated, right? Um, so he's got seven speed. Let's see where he can get. No longer is hindering uh, stop movement, so you can go your full speed through hindering now, which is pretty cool for this guy who's got stealth. So he's just going to go here for now. And let's see. I've got my Urukai captain, Mr. Lertz. Uh... He's got willpower, so he can use charge and flurry, but that's not on his top dial, so he'll move eight squares. That seems like an option. Um, then this is a 400-point game, so I've got at least two more actions. I don't think I've got any leadership anywhere. Boromir was... Not much of a leader, especially after that first movie. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, that's not very nice. Also got stealth. Wouldn't know it from watching uh, the Fellowship that he has stealth, but uh, apparently his Heroclix figure does. So let's move him next to Frodo so that he can potentially attack the halfling. Um, 
don't know why he would do that either. And then, yeah, Saruman is going to just uh, try and mind control. I think he's going to go after the Enterprise. Oh, wait, I don't ignore characters. I ignore elevated and blocking. So I actually can only see the decur. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll attempt it. Uh, All part of my plan, of course. An 11 attack into the decur. Uh, 18. So you just need a 7. Uh, I will prob it using Saruman's special defense power. The defensive prob. And that should hit. That'll be a 19. There you go. Um, it's an action for Saruman. So good old Decur will attempt to... I think uh, we're going to pretend like they were con taken over by the Romulans, so they're going to attack the USS Enterprise. Whoop. That is opening a different tab. Ah. I don't think that does anything. Ah, uh, no, yeah, that'll miss. Mm. Thank goodness. Ooh. And then Sildor is just going to... Got really lucky there. He's just going to be pretty in the background there for now because that's all four actions. He's very shiny. Yeah. I don't remember him being that shiny in the movie, but... All right, then. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember him being in the movie. I don't remember anyone with that name. <laughs> it's been probably five years since I've seen any of these. I mean, I know for for a fact it has been at least five years since I've seen any of these movies. Um, so since all the ships get willpower, we're going to roll for Dicker's willpower. Wow. We're going to roll for Valdor's willpower. Wow. Uh, so Dicker will have plus two speed and plus one attack. We got Lurts. We got Mr. Mr. Lurts Lurch causing a problem here. So I think what we do is we have the good old Dicker needs to go after some people here. Hmm. We got Boromir. Oh, I just noticed his name. Very, very funny, Simeon. You're mm, hilarious. All right, yeah. We're going to have the Dicker just go ahead and uh, oh, Hypersonic. Yeah. I forgot what I named him. <laughs> hypersonic two squares to here. Uh, shooting Lurch. See what, see what happens. Oh, that ought to hit. I think Lurch has a uh, solid... What's his defense here? Willpower. Okay. So I will reduce it by nothing. I am. Okay. Uh, so that'll be 11 for 3 damage. And then we're going to finish our movement uh, next to the nice fellow buried here. And uh, <laughs> we're going to take our free attack against him. Uh, although, no, we should probably not. Let's go. I guess we'll go here. We'll take our free attack against Elijah Wood. Because yes. I don't want to do the whole combat reflexes thing. Yeah. So, he's so yeah, let's go for it. 17 with no defense power. But I do have prob with him. Ooh, I got a very high number. All right. Elijah Wood will prob that. Uh, okay. He will. Oh, wow. 11s and 10s, baby. Three damage. Putting him on click <laughs> four. Lex Luthor, that cake. Yeah. So now, now I've got that mithril shirt. Uh, but I lost mm. my prob with poor Frodo Baggins. All right. The USS Enterprise has has some running shots. Outwit and prob. I think I think that's that's our key here. We need some running shot pretty far. Uh, we only have four squares to move. Well, I think we're gonna move here, and we're gonna try to shoot a. Uh, We'll shoot Saruman, even though it's through hindering. We'll go for that. We'll take. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll go for it. We're been rolling pretty hot. Ooh, does a seventeen hit? I believe it. I believe that misses. It does miss. The, the Enterprise one. cannot uh, shoot this man. Oh, I did for uh, his shape change, but. Oh yeah, we'll roll your shape change. I'll prop it here. So roll your shape change. Okay. He is indeed targeted. Okay. Probbing, 
propping the attack roll here. See what we get. That will hit a 19. All right, Saruman will prob it right back as his defense power entails him to. No. No, that's perfect. Darn you, Simeon. I cannot stand this. Uh, and that is another six, so it will miss again. Uh, we will, however, outwit uh, Saruman's. Let's see. I was almost thinking of outwitting his willpower so that way he can't do something next turn, but that doesn't matter anymore. So we're going to outwit his outwit prob, his defense power with the USS Enterprise. And I guess the Dicker also has outwit, doesn't it? Yes, it does. The ah. Dicker will outwit, uh, I don't know, Frodo's exploit weakness. And then we're going to have the IRW. Oh, no, never mind. Valmore. Frodo is no longer in stealth. He lost stealth. Oh, that's right. That is another key thing to remember. We're going to have the IRW Valdor. Go ahead and take a shot at Lurch. It's going to be a 11 for 3 with ranged combat expert. All right, Lurch. I want to see uh, a 16 what happens. Wow. We, we are getting very lucky rolls right now on roll 20, and I'm here for it. I'm happy. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see. And that's for three damage against Lurtz. So he'll reduce by one. That is for three damage against Lurtz. Two, going to click six. Still alive. But now he he no longer has blades. That's all he really lost, I guess. All right. All right, so here you go, Simeon. All right. Um... I do have some willpowers to roll for as well. Both Sildor, who doesn't have an action token, and I believe Boromir? No. It was Lertz. Lertz had the willpower. He lost it. Okay. Um, so I don't need to roll willpower this turn because it doesn't do anything for me. Uh, let's see. Boromir has close combat expert. So he is just a static 11 for 3 right now. So he's going to go ahead and attempt mm. to punch the Decur. Oh, man. Roll 20 servers oh, are on. That will hit. Today. And I've got, I've got no prob for it. So that'll just take the Decur to click 2 since he's got invulnerability. All right. Now, Mr. Lurch. Losing his outwit. So, Frodo will get his exploit weakness back. Oh, yes. Good. That's what I was planning on. Uh, Lurch can charge with a range of three. I don't think that gets me... Let's see. One, two, three. So, I could get to the Enterprise or to the Val door. Um, but, sadly... I think that his flurry only works. Yeah, his flurry must be used against uh, two different characters, so I can't target the same character with both attacks. Flurry was just too powerful back in the day for a seventy-point figure. Imagine if they made a fifty-point figure that just could continually flurry. Ridiculous. Um, That'd be so broken. That'd be nuts. Let's attempt to mind control. Let's see. I don't ignore anything except the elevated and blocking. But uh, yeah, let's attempt to mind control the Enterprise, I think. Or maybe I'd just be better off shooting okay. it. 11 for 3. Yeah, we'll just attempt to shoot the Enterprise with Saruman before we do anything with Lurtz. All right. Uh, yeah, the Enterprise is going to have to be like, uh, no, uh, Captain, we're going to give her all she's uh, got or whatever, then do a uh, prob it, spin trick. I don't know. I don't know how Star Trek works. I'm <laughs> no idea. Do the Kobayashi Maru. <laughs> Duck out of the way. That's that, a test. That's Star Trek. Yeah. It's not a maneuver. So. It's a test. Oh, uh, whatever, <laughs> man. But I failed the test. Okay. Um so that's one, two actions 
Let's get Sildar in there. Doing something. He can use charge uh, with seven speed. So he's, yeah. Friendly character. Oh, he's got uh, the avenge power in addition to the charge. So if you KO somebody and I can see them, then I can avenge them. Uh, sadly, I can't get anywhere this turn. So he's just going to move up to... He'll go here. So I don't think I want to make it easier mm -hmm. on you to punch me. And then Lurch will... Is he my best bet? He doesn't have Flurry, because I can't get to two people. Uh, Frodo has... Sadly, Frodo has a higher attack value than the Captain of the Orakai. So, that's interesting. I mean, maybe he's not the Captain, but he's the main antagonist in the first film in uh, The Fellowship. So... Uh, sadly, we'll have to attack with Elijah Wood, um, just attempting to exploit weakness, the, yeah. the decur. So he has a 10 attack. That'll hit Ooh, Wow, 18. that will do it. And uh, uh, for how much damage? Elijah Wood is pumping out two exploit damage. So I, I go to click four. Elijah Wood shanks the ship. <laughs> just what sword does he does he have sting is that the sword he gets not yet i don't think so does he just have oh no oh, he has oh, the okay. mithril shirt huh. so this is like post uh mines of moria right is it mines of moria mm. or is it the uh the tomb of the one guy i can't remember i don't remember the name of the places they go but it's after uh the big like battle in like the helm's deep not helm's deep the uh yep I'm just going to stop talking because I don't remember any locations, and I've said three wrong Lord ones. of the Ring. Yeah. It's when the Lord <laughs> of the Ring happened, and the guy stab yep. him, and he have Mithril shirt. So it's it's at that point in the story, at least. Nice. So yes, he has a sword. Good. It's what color Good. question was. <laughs> I was... All right. Uh, it's my go, right? Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's have the dicker roll for its willpower because it start the turn next to the USS Enterprise. Uh, it will fail, so we will instead. Um, what does Isildur have to outwit? What's some outwittable goodies on this guy? Uh, my charge, <laughs> and he's got charge, willpower, and quake top dial. We are going to outwit his charge and his willpower with the Dicker and the Enterprise, respectively. And we're okay. going to clear the ships. So no charge, no willpower. Um... Let's see here. I don't think I can really do a whole lot this turn. Uh, good old Lurch is going to lurch on over. He has charge exploit with a 9 for 2. So he's going to go after the Romulan Valdor. Okay. With his 9 for 2. Ah, a 12. That mm. is most mm. figures that have been made. Uh, no one else can really do anything. I think I'm going to go ahead and clear Isildur. He could just move. He has no range, but he could just move. But I'll instead just clear him. Alrighty then. Uh, so we do get willpower with the Baldor. We also get a plus one attack with the Valdor, which will be actually useful this turn. Uh, since he's got Plasticity, Quake, Outwit, and obviously uh, Energy Shield Deflection, nothing better uh, than, than ESD with some of them Quaking powers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. Yeah, cool. but the new combos that WizKids is coming out up with should really enhance the Energy Shield Plasticity combo. Because there's nothing like holding your oh, opponent sure. next to you 
while being, you know, safe from range. Safer from range. Yes, correct. We're going to outwit Boromir's combat reflexes uh, with uh, with the Dicker, and we're gonna have the Dicker just quake Boromir's, Elijah Wood and Boromir. He's actually in stealth right now, so he does. Oh, have, he is. He Never mind. Still have Pardon stealth. me. Yeah. Pardon me. Pardon me. Uh, you can um, outwit Frodo's mithril shirt power, which yeah, uh, let's do the mithril six. shirt power. Okay. Yeah, let's do something defensively. Take that away. Uh, I believe it'll hit an 18. Yes, because the plus one. So yeah, that will hit an 18. Okay, that'll definitely hit Frodo. And that'll miss Boromir by exactly one. Because he has a 17 with combat. Uh, I'm okay with it. So Frodo will I will. Take... I will take that L. He'll go to click six. Uh, yeah, it would still be a multi-target, so it'll be two damage, and you'll get knocked back. Except not just two squares, no, three whole squares. Yes. yes. Look at that! Wow. One, two, three. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Goodness gracious! Uh, the Valdor. I would like it to not be next to somebody, because it just has better stats from not next to somebody. But I suppose we can sh just punch Mr. Lertz all the same. So we will do that. Uh, let's do it. It's a it's a 10. 10 for 2. Wow. Uh, these, deal, these, uh, these roll 20 dice are pretty hot right now. Do you deal 1 damage? I deal 1 damage. Yeah, toughness. I have toughness. So I okay. reduce all the damage. Well, I deal two damage. Oh. You take one damage. I die. Hmm. Spoiler alert. This is pretty much how the movie goes. The Romulans swoop in uh, yeah. and explode Lurts. And he's like, no, right my name was Lurts. Out. I fought valiantly. Everyone remember, I was named Lurts. Meat was... <laughs> I was so sad. Meat was finally back on the menu. No. Yeah, or something. That's, that's the only Lord Rings meme speech. I know. Yeah. Uh, Isol, Isolder. Uh, we're gonna. Does he have any defensive stuff? Isolder, I Mr. Think Isolder. He's got willpower right now, so he is a. All right. Yeah, seventeen, eighteen from range. Well, because hindering, but. I, I guess we'll just shoot him with the Enterprise and see what happens. <laughs> these are these are all twenty rolls. This is the best I've ever rolled. I think this yeah. has got to be the best I've ever rolled in roll 20. This is insane. This That's is nuts. Three damage? That's for three. Three whole damage, Simeon. All right, he'll go to click four. Oh, I forgot he could have avenged. Oh, wait, no, what he couldn't see that guy. So he couldn't avenge that guy. Yeah, roll 20 is pretty hot right now. I What's he got on a roll under... yeah, four? I guess there, there was a four rolled, but... Uh, Sildor right now, on click four, he now has invulnerability with a 17 still. Okay, well, uh, not defensively. Does he have, he still have charge? Yeah, he still has that charge uh, place in a KO'd character square power. Hmm. The, uh, he will be, be avenged! <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention... When we were going over these figures, uh, several of my characters, I almost made a man theme team because uh, several of these oh. characters have the man keyword. Oh, because it's like the race of men yeah. or whatever, right? right? Well, the Enterprise will just out with your charge and we'll say it's your turn. Okay. Because, yeah. Good man, a good man theme team. Nothing makes me feel like more of a man than playing my man theme team. Watching the football game and having some beers with the boys. <laughs> Maybe do some grilling in the backyard. Yeah. Anyways. Yell at my wife. Hero clicks. Um, <laughs> Let's so... not do that, though. Uh, I was just thinking of manly. Though. Huskers lost. Shut up, woman. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Huskers watch. I'm gonna go beat something. Where's that dog? Uh, sports. Jeez. Uh, Here Gotta, we go. Yeah. Uh, hero <laughs> clicks. Let's, let's hopefully skip over Scott all Porter that. never watches any of these because he'll be like, "Hey, I like the Huskers." 
Uh, yes, you do, Scott. Uh, it's fine. Um, <laughs> so Boromir's got close combat, or he's got combat reflexes and toughness. Uh, he may make a close combat attack as a free at action, targeting an opposing character who missed him with a close combat attack. So since Ooh. he was missed by the decoder, mm. and he has uh, com or close combat expert right now, he's just a static 11 for 3, so he's going to go ahead and swing on the decur. There's another higher than 9. That's, that will hit the decur for, for 3 damage, taking the decur to click 7. Uh, nothing we can do about that. We just sort of have the ESD, you know. Yes, that was a free attack, so now he's going to power action and do the oh, same thing. Oh my gosh. Because he doesn't have charge. Right oh, there. yikes. Other cur on click oh, another nine. Look at this. See, see what I'm saying about these rolls right now? Yeah. Other cur will die. Uh, I had a 15 roll power, so it's dead. All right. Wow. Uh, and that was the one that outwitted Elijah Wood's defense, right? So I still don't have my charge. Yes. Elijah Wood from Hobbiton will. I think at this point he's just going to kind of be in the way. So he's just going to move to here. Is is Hobbiton the Shire? Is the Shire Hob Are those the same place? Is that the same think, thing? I don't think Hobbiton is like a real thing. I. It might be, though. Oh, um, never mind. I'm not well enough versed, but I feel like Hobbiton is a made-up version of the Shire. Um, yeah, sounds sounds right. A Sildor without his charge is just gonna move down and out of the way, so that mm. good old Saruman can take a shot at the USS Enterprise. Uh, what's its defense right now, though? The USS Enterprise has a 17 with t -t -t toughness. Okay, I think I want to 17, so it'd be an 18 in hindering. Saruman's an 11 with a prob. Uh, I'm going to hold off on outwitting the outwit, but I will outwit the toughness. Because I think if mm, I can hit okay. it, I won't have to worry about the outwit. So I just need a 7. Luckily, <laughs> we will uh, prob that with the USS Enterprise. All right. Here's where roll 20 turns against me. Uh, that'll still be. Nope, there it is. Oh, hit for three damage. Go to click four. And that is all of it for. Uh... Luckily, I got that. Urukai guy mm. out of here. So now it's truly a fellowship ish team. Saruman a bad guy? No, no. He was the one that called the like Eagles he's evil. He's to bad uh, help carry them all the way to Mount Doom, saving them several moments sure? worth of content. Yes. I'm pretty sure it's a lie. Because <laughs> they didn't, because they walked the whole way there. The Eagle thing is like a joke for sure. Uh, all right, uh, the IRW Valador has now got to do some doing here. Um, can only running shot. Uh, whole four squares. Does have two targets, though. One, two, three, four. If it goes four to here, it can go ahead. It'll target Saruman and uh, Isolder here. What a fool I was. Yeah. Let's, uh, right. let's try to target them both with energy explosion. I'll do shape change on Saruman first. Ah, uh, he looks like a uh, old wizard man. Nice. Uh, all right, so it'll be 11 to stuff here. Ooh, that'll hit 20s. I'm tempted not to prob it because I feel like you're just going to roll better. But uh, so I'll why go, wouldn't it? I'll go ahead and prob it with Saruman. <laughs> you should. All right, here's that crit hit. No, ooh, oh, there we go. First, like under five roll for me, under six roll. Uh, we'll go ahead and give the Valador a token for doing that. We're gonna have the USS Enterprise try to uh, running shot breakaway. Okay, okay. 
One, two, three, four. Uh, let's see if we can try to target Saruman and Isildur here. All right, Saruman. Form of old wizard man. Mm, nice. All right. Well, I got only have a nine. I only have a nine. So that'll hit 17s, although I do believe... Yeah, I go through hindering here. This is obviously through hindering. So uh, 17s hit. Is an 18. And good old mm. Sildur is. He is a 17, a printed 17, so an 18 in hindering. Okay. Then, then that is that is all the Enterprise. And the Enterprise will then perplex up its own defense. And we'll say it's your go, Simeon. All right. I'd really like to prove uh, good old commenter the MF Batman right when he says, when this guy is around, your own people may turn against you when you least expect it. So Saruman's going to attempt to mind control the Enterprise. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, with the perplexed up defense, the Enterprise is a whopping uh, 17, so 18 and hindering. Uh, does not matter. Does not matter at all. <laughs> uh, 21s. Um, just always, always roll high. That's the key to hero click. Yep, that's uh, that's the Enterprise. What's the speed value? I mean, you're not wrong. The Enterprise. Right the Enterprise now? is an eight. Okay, to move so four. Four. Uh, it's gonna. It's gonna just dry dock right here next to two of my guys and then it's gonna take a shot at some dry the, docking at the good old Jeez. irw valdez or valdor valdor yes valdor yes of course how could i forget such an iconic ship um the enterprise will shoot at it Uh, 17. Oh, that that will of course hit. That's right on the money. That's a seventeen. That is perfect. The Valdor rolling uh, its super senses. Ah, yes, we'll take two damage from said, the Enterprise. I just realized I said, "Does a seventeen hit?" When I think almost uh, with like very few exceptions, almost all Star Trek ships have seventeens or lower defenses. Is what we found. Um, yes. Yes. That will end the mind control. So Frodo, on his last click, is just a 9 for 1. Boromir, however, is still top dial with a uh, static 11 for 3, thanks to close combat expert. So he's going to attempt to close combat expert, although it's just a close attack. Mm. Mm. So that'll be a 17. I think I am right at a 17. Yes, I am. Uh, for how much? For three. Three, so toughness, so it's two. So I got to click six with the USS Enterprise. Still just holding on there. Just, ooh, just holding on. Let's see. Sildur still has charge with exploit. Um, does the Enterprise have any reducer right now? Uh, the Enterprise has nothing for defense at all. All right. Good old Elijah Wood coming in hot. He's going to swing on the Enterprise with his nine for one. Mm. And of course that will hit a 19. <laughs> oh, As Elijah, Elijah Wood, Wood is just stabbing chips. Left and right, and that will end the Enterprise's existence. She's gonna crash, Captain. I'm giving her all she's she's got. Captain, beam me up, Scotty. Captain, I just, Enterprise, Star Trek. I can normally picture words. what's happening in Hero Clicks in my mind, but in this case, it makes zero sense to me. It's like mm -hmm. it's, I don't know something to do with Hobbit feet and the Enterprise being shrunk down. For some yeah. reason, I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, Isildur is going to charge and exploit, if that oh even boy. matters, on the Valdor. So, uh, um, does it? I don't even know. 
Uh, it does not matter. I have ESD. Okay, he's got a nine. I have for sixteen three. with ESD. Uh, that'll only hit a fifteen, so that one ooh, will miss. Yeah, very lucky. And that is my entire turn. Wow. Uh, I'll be forced to clear the Valdor for my turn. Sadly, All it is right. your turn, Simeon. Saruman will out with the Valdor's uh, running shot. And I will clear. Ooh, cuts deep. Cuts the deep. Fellowship fellows. Oh, that's why they called it the Fellowship because they were fellows, and they they took a definitely ship not the why they called it that. Okay, well I'll figure it out one of these days. Did they take a ship down the river? Was that a thing they did? Yeah, they get in a boat at some point. It's like a real small boat, and it's just like super, like Deus Ex that it's even there. I don't think they brought I'm it. I'm gonna try to just move breakaway. All right, I failed the move breakaway. I'll give myself a token. It's your go, Simeon. All right, it's your it's go. We, I know. I'm sorry. Like, there's no like button banter because I just know literally nothing about either <laughs> of these things. Like zero. I I know enough about Lord of the Rings to. <laughs> To sound like I know what I'm talking about to someone who knows nothing about the Lord of the Rings. Why would you want to sound like you know what you're talking about? It's such a nerdy thing to know about. Lord of the Rings? Gross, dude. Gross. <laughs> Sildur. That will the, miss by one. Yeah, that's a 15. Um, I think Boromir. Boromir coming in hot. Top dial still. Oh, never mind. He's got zero range. I was thinking of Lurts. Who, of course, everybody remembers the famous <laughs> five range that Lurtz has. Certainly, Boromir yes. remembers. Uh, so, Duty's Lurtz will just walk one, two, three, four, five squares to there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Boromir can't actually because one does not simply walk <laughs> to, to Mordor, is a thing Boromir did say. That's, um, yeah. So, he can't actually be given move actions. Never mind. You're, you are on a elevated terrain, so this is a mountain. Is Mordor is a mountain, right? That's a mountain. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the, it's higher than Mount level Doom, plane. I, I don't know. Yeah, man. Uh, MF Doom. Like MF Batman. Saruman Mount will MF. outwit whatever defense you currently have and take a shot. It's at energy you. shield deflection. Yes. That and one. that's actually a good use of the outwit there. And then it's I'll, pretty solid. I'll pretty solid. Yeah, that's my defense power getting you though. Oh. I'm defensive. Yeah. <laughs> There's a 17. Oh, actually, it's, it's an 18. Ooh, an 18 will hit. Uh, for how much, though? For, for three damage. Oh, that'll, that'll luckily put me on click seven, and I'm... Well, actually, put me on click six, excuse me. And I'm still in the game. All right. Wow. Elijah Wood is going to oh, wow, wow. stand firm where he is. Oh, wow, wow very proud of that position that he's taken up so i'll just end my turn there yeah all right um i am on running shot now again so i will try to running shot break away see what we can do here oh yes that is that is a successful running shot breakaway we'll move uh four squares it is four squares wow 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 wow, wow. one well, let's actually do this a little. I'm going to pull Sneaky One on it because I do want to kill uh, Boromir. Uh, it'll be a nine for two <laughs> against Boromir here. See what can happen. That's an 18. That will hit an 18. Uh, Boromir just wow. got Thanks a that big old combat reflex. Passive range combat expert. So he will take one. Oh, shoot. Well, he'll only take one. But Boromir wasn't getting out of here unscathed. Yeah. All right, that's my that's my that's my turn. Give him a token, and that's my turn. All right. Star Trek. On the mighty Valdor. Yeah. Ooh, getting real sick and clean, tired of that. Clean range. <laughs> clean line of fire there. I really. So. I need to go. We need to go over each other's figures before I choose the map <laughs> next time. I don't know why I don't. We don't do this. Yeah, we really what should. Map looks fun. It's it's caused some very one sided battles. Uh, Truly, that'll hit. Not a that 19. I think this was it. Yeah, that'll do it. Not even. Uh, a am I back bonus. on super senses? Um, 
I am back on Super Senses, so I get uh, I get to do this little tricky dicky. Wow, baby, dodging Valdor. I can't even out with that. So, oh. um, yeah. we will just have to have Isildur, who still has charge, I believe. Yeah, he's still on click four, so he's a nine for three. He'll charge with his good old exploit and attempt to take out the Valdor. Uh oh. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, can Calder roll, roll two game. super senses in I've, a row? I've been, uh, that's a six. Oh, oh baby! Wow. Oh, oh baby! Has decided to grace Calder with yet another super <laughs> sense roll. Uh, we'll clear yes. good old Boromir. And yeah, I think Elijah Wood's safe where he's at. He's not doing anything yeah, with his one damage. I think my turn pretty obvious here i've got to clear the valdor it's it's it is the only move i mean the only move i have so yes that's where we're at in life you know just sort uh, of clearing the valdor <laughs> boromir every yeah he's he's got stealth so he's gonna move nowhere he's just gonna stand exactly where he's at i will move elijah wood one two three four to there um and I'll clear Saruman, and I will also clear a good old tricky Isildur. All right, uh, Valdor's got to do a little running shot breakaway. It's something we call doing a little trolling. Uh, that is a four. Our D6 roll's been pretty hot. We're going to shoot Boromir again, because you know we gotta, guys. You know we gotta. Uh, all right, shooting Boromir here. Uh, it's, a, it's a nine for two. Well, baby, that's what I'm talking about. He's just getting blam, blam. <laughs> you Man, shooting up like for me. Taking yeah. several arrows to the chest, just over and Almost over again, like a some weird slow mo montage kind of scenario. Very right. sad. Yeah, uh, he it's still has his toughness power, so he takes one. Um, it's really a bummer. He's gonna. This is very tough in the movie. <laughs> uh, good old. Uh, Buried here is gonna outwit the Valdor's super senses, and oh uh, uh, well, Valdang, that sucks. Let's see how fast. It's kind of what I had going for me. Six speed, one, two, three, four, five, six. That doesn't help me. So, Asildur is just gonna charge to here with his whopping nine attack. This is where he crit misses. Is kind of what I'll need him to do. Uh, be 16 uh, for three that will that is exactly what you need to hit i'm gonna roll super senses for fun just to see okay wow one that kind of hurts a little bit extra being a one and all uh that is all she wrote for the irw valdor and ladies and gentlemen, that will be another epic golden age brawl has come to a conclusion uh make sure you guys vote for our teams. What the figures that we can use on our teams in the Facebook, the Twitter, the Discord, in the comment section of this video. If you're watching this video right now, go to HC Realms or uh, Eclipse Nexus. Look up uh, Iron Maiden and the Kick-Ass 2 set. Simeon, building out of Kick-Ass 2. Calder, that's me, building out of Iron Maiden. Find two figures there or just click on two random figures and just vote for them. Just do it. Vote. That'd be great. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification video because sometimes we pull a little tricky on you and we do a little, little Saturday showdown instead of a Thursday <laughs> throwdown because we forget to upload the video. Um, so make sure you hit that bell notification so you know every time we upload. Uh, and thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like always, happy trails. <laughs>